we're putting some stingrays in here. We got ourselves a nice hole. I'd say we cut them pretty well. Look at that beauty. What's going on today, everybody? We're back in the fish room, but the other side of the fish room, and we're gonna be doing something special with this 300 gallon stock tank here. Some acrylic windows in the 300 gallons so we can actually see the fish. Instead of having to look through the top, we can look through the side and the top. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's gonna look absolutely insane because my plan is we're putting some stingrays in here. I'm thinking like two or three, and then once they get bigger, we're just gonna get something even bigger. So not to worry about size-wise because obviously we go big. So yeah, I think three to four little stingrays in here would look absolutely immaculate. I mean, just crazy. So what we'd have to do is we'd have to get rid of all this substrate because stingrays are gonna want a nice sandy bottom because you don't want rocks to kind of nick their uh, disc, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, get that all nicked up and you don't want that. So a nice sand bottom, straight sand, and we could do like floating plants because I think they're gonna eat our plants that we put down there or they're gonna skate along the bottom and destroy them anyway. So. Maybe some floating plants, maybe not too many plants. Maybe we'll figure something out. And I don't know what type yet. I haven't really delved into that far yet, but yeah. My thing, stingrays, but we need windows and we gotta build a stand for it. Can you guys see that box there? We got a box that goes right there. Same thing over there. That's where our uh, windows are gonna be. So we're gonna cut that out. Our actual window will sit right on the inside of the tank. And then we'll have about an inch on the inside of just straight silicone. I don't know of anybody who's actually done this before. I may be the first, probably because I'm the craziest and just full send on anything. So yeah, that's the plan. We got to get those boxes cut out and then we're going to go ahead and get our siliconed in. So let's get those things cut out, baby. All right. So you already know safety first. We got the safety glasses, we've got the hearing protection because uh, cutting metal kind of gets a little loud and I don't really want metal pieces in my eyeballs. So yeah, we're going to get this cut up, get this cut out, get that hole cut out, and then we'll get the silicone, baby. We got ourselves a nice hole. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to breathe in galvanized stuff as well, but we got the garage door open, we got the fans on, we got plenty of ventilation. Let's do the other one. That'd be hole number two, baby. Here's what we're looking like. I'd say we cut them pretty well, but now we need to get it all sanded down real nice. See if we can't silicone some windows in. I got some rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna clean up our siliconed edge real nice so we get a nice adhesion with our silicone. We're gonna get that wiped down real nice. We want a nice crisp adhesion of our silicone. We'll run a bead along the edge of it, squish our, uh, squish our window in there, and then we just wait 24 hours till we fill this bad boy up. All right, so what I think we're gonna do here is we're gonna lay the bead of silicone on our window, get it pressed up against there, and then send some self-tappers through this. Because it's so flimsy, I'm not gonna be able to clamp it way down there. So, we're just gonna get run, a, run a nice bead along this guy here, and then we'll get her self-tapped in. Don't be scared of the silicone now. A nice globular on there. All right, now for our self-tappers to suck the metal right to it. Can you self-tap through acrylic? I don't know yet, let's find out. Oy! Little slippage.
So that's kind of how it looks like. Self-tap quite a bit all the way around. Show you the outside. Yeah, that should probably hold, right? Now, let's smooth out our silicone and then get that other one done. A little bit later in the day now, and yeah, here's what we got after day one of our stock tank build slash cutting some windows in it. Here's what we're looking like. Pretty darn good if you ask me. Look at that. Yeah. You see right on through, crystal clear. And yeah, all we gotta do is we're gonna get this bad boy filled up tomorrow. And yeah, I'm pretty excited. If this works, oh my gosh, that'd be incredible. Like impressively like it already works, that'd be crazy. But yeah, I know I talked about a stand, but I don't know if I want to do a stand. Because one, that's a lot of weight. Two, it's not like a really hard surface on the bottom of the uh, actual tank. Like it's just thin galvanized metal. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. We'll get right back to you once we uh, get this water going in this tank. All right, it's the next day and we're about to start getting this bad boy filled up. Everything looks like it dried nicely. You don't smell that epoxy smell in the air or by any of the seams. So I believe that everything's dry. It's been a little over 24 hours for that silicone to dry. So there's really not anything else to do but start filling this bad boy up. All right, she should be coming. She should be coming. It's a long way to travel. There she is. Oof, oof. Oh yeah, baby. Here in the next probably hour, it'll probably be up to the windows. So then we'll be able to see if she's a leaker or not. But I got high hopes for it. Yeah, buddy. Do you guys enjoy the time lapse of this filling up? I'll come out here and check on it periodically to see if we're leaking out this window. All right, a little, uh, preview of what we got halfway through the fill. I mean, I don't see any leaks yet. Just some condensate because it's really cold well water. But yeah, no leaks. I mean, that's looking pretty darn good. Now, hopefully she just holds for about a day. I'll wait, I'll give it about a full day of it holding water. And then I'm gonna give it the clear. I'm gonna give it the go ahead and we can throw sand in it and then we can get the filtration on it. Peep, the filtration sitting on that tote. Our DIY filtration we made. Of course, I might spray paint it up all nice and black so it looks nice and clean, but yeah. So far, so good. I'm impressed. We're gonna have stingrays, baby. As long as this thing holds together real well, no leaks, we're gonna have us some stingrays. But let's not speak too soon. Let's make sure we get this filled all the way up and then we'll wait our 24 hours. All right, first part of the stock tank build is complete. We're holding water, no leaks whatsoever. The only water that's on this is the condensation coming out this bad boy. That's well water and the well water is chilly. Tastes really good out of the hose though, but and it's really humid out. I think it's like 80 or 90% humidity out right now. So this thing is sweat, but the windows also sweating, but hey, no leaks yet. It's been, it's been a couple hours now since this bad boy's been filled up and no leaks. Everything's looking good, but we gotta go ahead and throw a filter on this bad boy that I just spray painted up. So it's nice, it looks nice and clean. So. Let me go grab that, we'll get it set up in here. If you guys are curious what I spray paint this thing in, why it looks like really matte, I sprayed it with high temp black spray paint that you would use on like a grill. 
But I thought, hey man, this will work the same way. And yeah, it dries really quick, so that's quite nice. Get a nice little PVC cut here. Come on, get it. Nice. Get her fitted back up here. Eh? Just a little bit more. Yeah, right there. Right there. Come on, forearms. Oh, yeah. Like a glove. All right, let's get this bad boy plugged in. Nice. Now, the only thing we really need to do is we'll get like a 90 to come off here to come down and it'll come over so then it shoots. So we get a nice circulation all the way around because you want heavy filtration when it comes to stingrays. That's one thing I know for sure. You want heavy filtration. The more filtration, the better, really. But yeah, so we got a filter going in here, which did have beneficial bacteria in it, and it should do fine with the well water. I'm not 100% sure. I did treat it all. We might as well give it another splash. So yeah, we are gonna treat the water, the well water. Nice splash in there. Don't be scared of it. So yeah, she's treated. Now, all we need is a substrate and we're gonna be good to go with some stingrays. We do need some lighting too. That 100 watt light and I have two, two 50 watt lights, which I think would look perfect on this tank. So yeah, we're gonna do a double 50 watt light probably tomorrow plus sand. And this tank is going to be completely ready for them stingrays. So I know, I know we're gonna have to go through another day, but Bear with me, bear with me. The end result is gonna be immaculate, trust me. It's going to look so good, but we need substrate and we need some light. We're back and I got the lights on and I added the old sand too, so that's why it's a little murky, but this is pretty much the completed look of our th new 300 gallon Stingray tank, even though there's no Stingrays in there yet, but Let's see what she looks like. Look at that beauty. Look at her, the lights perfectly over top the windows. Look at that, nice filtration. We probably will lower that down a little bit so it's not so noisy. We'll probably lower that down to water level. But yeah, good, great circulation. I mean, look at that. There's a floating plant right on top there. Look at that thing go. That's some flowage there, man. That stuff is serious. So definitely not worried about flow because I mean, she is ripping clear down here. So I mean, we're looking pretty good for the old stingrays. Look at her. I can't believe how well it turned out. And I mean, no leaks. That, that's from uh, me cleaning the top of the tank. Trust. But yeah, no leaks. Imagine just looking down in here, Stingray come flying across. Oh my gosh. That's gonna look so good. Beautiful. And then we'll add some floating plants as well to kind of help with any algae. And then of course, that bad boy there. So yeah, I would call that a success in my book. No leaks, no nothing, everything works perfect. Those are pretty good odds for me because usually there's always a problem. So, yeah. We got, a, we got a Stingray tank, baby, with windows in it. Comment down below what kind of Stingrays should I get? Like there's Matoro, there's Black Diamond, there's Black Diamond Hybrids, there's Pearl. There's a different type of Pearl. There's like Pearl Hybrids, there's Albinos. There's all sorts of stuff. Put it down in the comments what type of Stingray you guys think I should get. But yeah, she's going to clear up here in the next day or two. We're going to have a beautiful tank for those stingers. So, like I said, like and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!